Guys, I just found something that doesn't look very good. Remember that spy balloon thing that China just pulled? Well, behind this ridiculous stunt and massive loss of face for China, they're trying to scrub something very, very important from the internet. Today's video is brought to you by Cultivate. Do you guys hate when you're on Amazon, you're looking around for stuff and all you see is just cheap knockoff products, all these ridiculous brand names. It's not even what you're looking for. It's just polluted with all of these really scammy products that you don't even want. Well, there's a reason for this. More than 50% of sellers on Amazon are actually based in China and don't pay taxes in the US or create jobs in the US. These sellers are actually overcharging compared to local alternatives and that's why I love to use Cultivate. Cultivate not only tells you where a product is from, which is something that Amazon likes to hide, but it also gives you local alternatives and tells you where you can get the legitimate product cheaper. For example, with this hair dryer here, with the Cultivate browser extension, I found that you could get it $23 cheaper on eBay. You can even support your local businesses by going to a place where you can pick it up the same day instead of waiting for it to be shipped to your door. Not only are you gonna find out where your products are being made and make smarter decisions on your purchases, you're actually gonna earn free donations for the charity of your choice. Don't forget to go to wecultivate.us slash lawai. It's completely free, won't cost you a cent. Go down in the description below, install the plugin and make better purchases today. Quick rewind here in case you didn't know, China just flew a spy balloon over the USA. It was tracked, followed, and most likely not effective in what it was trying to accomplish, but there's so much more to it. You don't just fly a spy balloon over an adversary and expect to get away with it. So of course, China's official response was to go full disinformation psyop. If this was truly a mistake, like China was claiming, they would have tracked it in their own airspace and called up the USA diplomatically saying, hey, there's an errant balloon kind of flying over your airspace. Maybe you should do something about it. Sorry about that, won't happen again. But no, they denied it and denied it and allowed it to happen. Officially, they stated that it was a weather balloon. But in the background, the Chinese government had their disinformation brigade saying very different things. The first diversion tactic was, it's not a Chinese balloon. It could have been from anywhere. The USA flew the balloon to blame something ridiculous on China and further the US war machine. That was another angle. Unfortunately for the Chinese government, they were backed into a corner and eventually had to admit that yes, it was theirs. But holy Lord, did their response actually shock me. It's very hard to shock me because I actually watch Chinese propaganda every single day to figure out what they're doing. But I had legitimately no idea that it was gonna pull this one. The new official narrative became, yes, it's a Chinese balloon, it's ours, but somehow it's your fault, the USA. I kid you not, it became this ridiculous narrative officially from the Chinese government that exposes the very reason that no one should be entertaining China anymore. Get caught flying a damn spy balloon in the airspace of another country, first deny. Then fake that it's not yours. Then say it's yours, but it's just a weather balloon. And then blame the victim for reacting to it. They literally said that because the US shot down the balloon, they reserve the right to take further action. That's like punching someone in the face, taking them to court for hurting your hand, and then telling them that if they don't let you punch them in the face more, they'll do something worse. This analogy will actually be pretty important later on in the video, but it gets even better. I started perusing the Chinese internet, quickly watching the Chinese government remove any and all information about the balloon. But before it did, it did put out some official narratives from the state for people in China to consume. Why waste this glorious opportunity? The Chinese state said things like, the USA is so weak that they couldn't even shoot down the balloon if they tried. So they're trying to blame China for this stunt. All the while they're hiding that their military is so weak they can't even shoot down an errant balloon. It was kind of amazing to see how the state put something out and then immediately the Chinese government shill brigade working on behalf of the Chinese government followed suit, parroting the same narrative. 
I'd love to put the Curb Your Enthusiasm music here, but it's copywritten. So instead, here's the Chinese government shill anthem. That means that even if the US side wanted to shoot it down, which is what most people are calling for, they wouldn't be able to do so. The Chinese government went into massive overdrive and then tried to cover everything up. as documented very well here, but they still had some lingering opinions just trying to eke out every last little bit of propaganda. You cannot waste this opportunity, right? Okay, the balloon was shot down, but the poor ocean, think of all the debris. The Chinese government narrative literally had people going out there saying that if they shot down the balloon that there would be debris in the ocean, bitch. China literally pumped megatons of artillery into the freaking ocean when Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. It was so devastating to the ocean ecology that we named it Operation Fish Kill. Not to mention China's fleet of illegal fishing vessels that absolutely destroy all sea life to the point of extinction. It was truly a damn trip to watch the mental gymnastics coming out of the Chinese state after they flew a spy balloon over my country and then got caught. They committed an act of insane aggression and then got mad when the US dealt with it accordingly. But do you think it stops there? It doesn't, it's crazy. If China is saying that it's just a weather balloon, then why did they go crazy with such an official response? I mean. If it was just a private company flying a weather balloon, certainly you don't need your state media going out there making these ridiculous accusations. If it was just a weather balloon, China, then why when I scour the Chinese internet, almost everything is gone? What are you trying to hide? China is scrubbing everything, but some very scary stuff slipped through the cracks. Remember the Chinese government was saying that this balloon was civilian and not military? Well, you guys gotta understand that there's nothing civilian in China. In fact, China adopted a policy called civilian military fusion and everything has potential military use. But most importantly, I need you to remember this phrase for later on in this information, civilian military fusion. Keep this in mind as we reveal something potentially horrible here. Do you guys know Duke University? Well, a graduate student named Liu Ruopeng allegedly stole Duke research to create a billion dollar Chinese company. He was suspected of spying while he was a Duke student and allegedly stole invisibility technology. In fact, the US Naval Institute covered this in great detail. All sources are below in the description. That's not a good start, right? Well, what if I told you that this ex-Duke student is actually a CCP party member? as evidenced here. And what if I told you that his company then proceeded to make metamaterials to be used in stealth applications? And next, what if I told you that this company, Guangxi, is often referred to in Chinese media as a military civil fusion enterprise? Convenient, isn't it? The company is spearheading the establishment of Military Civil Fusion Innovation Center in Xiong'an New District, Baoding, Hebei Province. And its products are used in People's Liberation Army warplanes, naval systems, missiles, and anti-stealth radar systems. In fact, the company recently won a military contract to apply its metamaterials products on Chinese warships to enhance stealth capabilities. Now, what if I told you that this company developed a 40 meter diameter, one ton helium filled balloon called Traveler, which soared twice as high as airliners can fly. This company took this balloon off from a Chinese owned dairy farm in New Zealand in 2015. The launch into orbit of a Chinese near space test flight from a New Zealand dairy farm was sealed in a deal between former Prime Minister Sir John Key of New Zealand and China's Xi Jinping in 2014. What if I told you that China was testing balloons to drop weapons payload delivery vehicles in 2018? They were bragging about it on state media, on CCTV. 
but they're all scrambling right now to delete any and all remnants of the story. Too bad the internet never forgets. Oh, China, I'll read you this quote. Let's see if your misdirection weather balloon story holds any gas, so to speak. China's People's Liberation Army plans to use high altitude balloons to counter long range US drones for psychological warfare operations in addition to intelligence gathering, a review of Chinese military and technical writings reveals. Beijing also reportedly test fired a new hypersonic missile from a floating airship in 2018, highlighting the military's interest in multiple uses for lighter-than-air aircraft. Not only did China brag about being able to deploy psychological and very real material warfare via balloons, they shot down a foreign balloon in their propaganda before. Literally, if you go back and look, China was putting out propaganda about how their ability is so amazing that they can shoot down foreign balloons that fly over their country. They've already done this. So they bluster and yell and they whine that it was unfair that the US shot their balloon in their own territory, but they literally run propaganda campaigns about shooting down balloons. This is truly insane shit. The next stage of propaganda from China is gonna be the partisan division. I've already seen it happen. They love this new little trick they learned. Somehow they'll try to make both the Democrats and Republicans think that this is their own fault. That it's not the fault of China, that you know, damn country that flew the balloon. It's working too, I've seen this. The amount of times that I've heard that China just won and the US administration's fault and all this kind of stuff. This is not the time to be buying into this division politics shit, guys. This isn't the time to bicker about domestic politics. This is the time to realize that there's literally a foreign government that just flew a surveillance balloon overhead of your country with malicious intent, and then it blamed you for it. I truly cannot believe how anyone is listening to China at this point. The Chinese government has devolved into a petulant, narcissistic, evil, spoiled little baby. Gone are the days of diplomacy. We are expected to roll over for this psychopath and blame ourselves for its misbehavior. Guys, this is the Chinese government. This is the government that restricts the freedom and rights and tracks every single move of its 1.4 billion citizens. This is the government that commits cultural genocide in Xinjiang in an effort to control a minority group that doesn't identify as Chinese. This is the government that hunts down its own citizens abroad in an effort to shut them up and then disappears them when they don't. This is the government that is not a friend of you or anyone in the world much less the Chinese people. I want everyone who is wondering how or why China is acting so insanely stupid and hypocritical and tossing out conflicting lies left and right about this balloon fiasco at the moment, I want them to understand this. Why are they doing this? Why are they making so many mistakes? Well, because they get away with it. Need I remind you that China did the exact same thing with COVID? First, they said it didn't exist. Then they convinced the World Health Organization that it wasn't even contagious, got them to spread that information around the world, then admitted that it was from Wuhan in China, but then allowed people to fly around the world and spread the virus, and then said, no, it wasn't even from China, and somehow blamed the US for creating it, then somehow flipped the entire script and locked down their country for three years, claiming no deaths and no cases, and allowed it to spread rampantly so that the entire country contracted it overnight, overwhelming hospitals and crematoriums with death and misery. Somehow, this government is still part of every single international organization and still gets congratulated and visited by international bodies. And people continue to invest in China as if it's the future. When is the Chinese government gonna be properly called out? It's not just the US who's being victimized here, it's the whole damn world. And that's enough. If you wanna see up-to-date coverage of not only this balloon story, but everything in regards to Chinese current events, please make sure you're going over to The China Show. It's a show I do with uh, Winston from Serpent ZA. We do it every single week. It's a news show about current events. It's super fun. And I really, really hope you guys are already subscribed there so you're on top of China news at all times. Thanks.